Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel. This is a free upload of Twins Love episode 11. In this video, storyline character voice and editing is mine. If you don't want the voiceover, then please silence the voice. Today's shout out goes to Milani, Gurmeet Kaur and Summer, Cutie Pie and Mrs. Jimin. My favorite comments goes to Aban Ali Khan, Kara 2016, Amina, Tekuk Lover, Hafia Sultana. I hope that you will enjoy this video, so let's get started. Previously on Twins Love episode 10. Chicky, we are Ratty BP and today we will tell you everything. The okay as he would say. Gook. So let's start from the start. Twins start narrating. Gook. We lived in Deku with our mom and dad. We were a happy family. Chicky, a mom and dad owned a huge business. They were partners with Kim Enterprises. Our families were real good friends. Gook. But soon our parents got to know that Kims are not good people. They were mafia and they are also illegal ones. JK. Dad's sources told him that Kims are planning something evil. They wanted to remove our parents from partnership by taking over our company. Gook. Our parents had 60% rights on the company because our parents helped Kim's financially. The company actually belonged to our parents and Kim's wanted to si take sign of our parents on wrong paper by tricking them. JK But that couldn't happen. Our parents decided to remove them from partnership and take over the company as it actually belonged to our parents. They just gave the 40% to Kims. Gook. After they removed Kims, we shifted to Busan. We were actually 10 when we shifted here. Dad started a new business here. We soon became very famous. Our company was touching the heights. We lived 6 years in peace. JK. It was our birthday. We went on a vacation. We were sitting in a park and suddenly we heard shooting. Our parents hid us somewhere and went to that area where they heard shooting. A tear slipped through twins' eyes and they wiped it with his thumb and kissed their cheeks. Twins smiled at him and continued their story. Gook, they, they died in that shootout and we know who did it. They, who? Twins. Kim, Chiki, he sent some men to kill our parents. It was all because of us. We forced our parents to take us out on our birthday. Gook, if we wouldn't have forced them, nothing would have happened like this. They, bunnies, don't blame yourself. They was in tears as he couldn't see their lovers like this. Chiki, they baby, don't cry. Gook. If you cry, then we will be more heartbroken. They wiped his tears and smiled at twins. JK, now baby, this is the reason why we could don't celebrate our birthday. Gook, but now you changed it baby by giving a surprise. They smiles at them, feeling that at least he could do something good for the twins. JK, you helped us he to heal baby. Gook. Thank you so much. They don't say thank you. I am both of your boyfriend and I love you both. I can do anything to make you both happy. It's my right, isn't it? Gook. Yes, baby, it's your right. JK. Not only your that, but you also have right on us. Twins hugged they and they hugged them back. Twins, we love you. They, I love you too, my bunnies. Twins broke the hug and looked at the Gook. Now, baby, this was the one thing. But there is another thing that we want to tell you. Chiki, 
but we are scared that they what is it go you promise us that no matter what you will not leave us they i'll never leave you both now please tell me what it is jk our parents left us two things first their business which we knew but we got to know that our mom and dad were not just handling business but they were also mafia queen and king as well they what go yes we were just 16 when we got to know about this which was really shocking but our parents were good mafias they protected people from people like him chk we took our over the mafia world as well and became mafia kings because of that we had to leave our studies and now we started it again go but we didn't stop our search for the killer of our parents when we found out that it was kin so we searched more about him and got to know that he have a daughter who studies in bangtan college we left our previous college in which we were earlier and came here in this college cheeky we already found his daughter and now we have to make sure that she is who we think the that will make our way to him by using her it already took a lot of time for us to find him because he changed his name but now we know he is in busan gook now we will take our parents revenge and kill him jk in conclusion bb we are mafia do you accept us they were looking at me who was smiling at them they i told you both that i love you both that means i accepted you both already and if you think that i would be afraid of this then you both are wrong i accept this dangerous side of you both twins smiled by looking at the gook bb you make us happy jk you changed a sad life into happy life they smiled and hugged them they hugged the pack and remained in that position for few minutes until they pulled back and twins looked at the like he is there everything which he is and will be jk bb your birthday will come soon go yes bb how do you want to celebrate it they my birthday is not close my birthday comes on 30th december and it's september jk you won't even know when the time will fly go exactly bb thus if we will get time we will prepare a grand party for you they i don't like grand parties JK then what do you like BB they just small celebration with all close friends just like we did it yesterday good then on your birthday we do the same they smiles but it soon fade JK what happened BB they I, i don't know but i feel uneasy good hmm go face his back of pop on these for it Go. Your temperature is normal. They. No, not like that. JK. Then what, baby? They. It's like something weird is happening inside my stomach. JK. Huh? Are you pregnant? Twins play their hands on their stomach. They. What? No. How can I be pregnant? I'm a boy. Go. You never know. They was in disbelief. He looked at his two dumb boyfriends and sighed. They I'm feeling that something bad is going to happen. Cook, you getting back pregnant is not bad, baby. JK. Yes, we would be really happy. They cookie, cookie. They whined and twins laughed. Good. Sorry, baby. JK. You just wanted to lighten up your mood. They well, it did, but Still, please be serious. Pop, go, baby. Tell us what we can do to lighten up your mood. JK, we can take you anywhere you want us to. T, I wanna go in both of your arms. Twins chuckles and hugged T, who hugged them back. They were giggling and laughing, enjoying their moment, but it was interrupted by continuous ringing of the doorbell. 
staff opened the door and a teary scared chin came in with namjoon following behind chin the bear seeing the chin the gook gook stood up and they ran towards chin chin hugged the who hugged him back chin my bear sniffs you are safe the young what happened chin pulled off from hug and he cupped his cheeks and kissed him all over his face the young what happened why are you crying chin bear crying twin saw that chin's breath was uneven he chick young sit first and calm yourself a bit good young please take some water gook pass chin a glass of water which he drank and sat on sofa with the who sat beside him not leaving his young's hand namjoon sat on the other side of jin and kissed his back they young now tell me what happened jin crying some people forced were came inside the house and destroyed everything namjoon came at the right time and stopped them chiki but why would someone do this go there must be some reason jin they were looking for the jin twins what they i'm scared namjoon when i came there and started beating them i asked them to open their mouth and all they said was we will kill the young chiki now where are those people namjoon before i could do something they ran away go then it's really unsafe for the at jin young's house namjoon yes they can't be there because they already came there once and they can come again chiki young if you don't mind they can stay with us until we find who did who did this gook we will protect him young chin yeah you are right they can stay with you both nam chun and chini you can stay with me okay chin nods and looked at the who was in its thoughts thoughts and a scared look was on his face chin softly bear they came out of his thoughts chin what happened bear what are you thinking the young what if he sends those men chin whitened his eyes chin that can't happen N- no the young he, he found us scared namjoon understood who they were talking about twins who are you talking about namjoon their father twins ha huh? namjoon you should tell them chin they had deserved to know Jin nods. Jin, so ten years ago we used to live in Daegu with our so-called parents who were really rich, but they used to torture us, especially they. They were really evil. I couldn't even see my bear in pain and decided to run away from there. One night we escaped from that hell hole and came here in Busan. When we arrived here, we met Nam Joon. he is my childhood friend we were friends since kindergarten but he shifted to busan when we were six when he came here he helped us a lot and because of him we are alive namjoon hey don't say that jin it's true namjoon if you wouldn't have helped us then i don't know if we could have survived here alone namjoon smiled while looking at each other gook What work did your father used to do? Jin, he was the owner uh, of a well-known company named Kim Enterprise. Twins, what? Jin confused. Yes, what happened? Twins looked at each other and felt tears in their eyes. They looked at Tae and Jin. Jk, Hyun, don't you remember us? Jin looked at them, and his eyes widened due to shock. Jin. Oh my god you both chin couldn't form words he got up and hugged twins who hugged him back they was really confused chin and twins broke the hug chin where were you both after you guys shifted from deku they was all alone you both were his only friends they looked at the and they now understood who twins were they was in tears twins knelt in front of the who was sitting on the sofa they snuggled in the's lap and they kissed 
his twins him. Three of them were crying. Twins now sat beside me and hugged him together, who hugged them back. Tay, I, I missed you both so much. Gook, we, we missed you as well, bear. Flashback in park. Gook, worried. Why are you crying, bear? Cheeky worried. Bear, tell us, did they beat you again? Ten-year-old Gook and Gook asked six-year-old Tay. Tay, yes. Gook and Gook hugged his, the crying baby and pegged his cute and puffy cheeks. Gook, it's okay, bear. We are here for you. Chiki, yes, baby. Tay, you both love me, right? Chiki, yes, we both love you. Chik, Gook, a lot. Tay, will you both always stay with me? Twins looked at each other and then at Tay. They didn't want to answer this. Gook, bear, we are leaving Deku tomorrow. Tay, you are lying, right? This, this is a joke, right? Chiki, no, bear. This is not a lie. They was crying now more. So were twins. They, but, but you both said that you love me. Then why, why am I am I too bad? Gook. No, no, bear. We love you more than you ever imagined. Chiki. Yes, bear. But we have to leave because our parents are also leaving. They. Then you both stay with me. Gook. Bear. We are not old enough to live alone. They, please. Twins hugged they who hugged them back. They were crying in each other's embrace. Twins knew that this is the last time they will see him. JK, bear, take this. They looked at the photo frame which JK was holding. He smiled while looking at it. It was a picture of them, twins, they and Chin. Author's note, it is the picture that I mentioned in the first episode, they took the frame, photo frame. Cook, we also have the same photo frame. So just look at it whenever you miss us. They nodded and smiled through tear-stained cheeks. They, where are you both sh- shifting? JK, we don't know that bear. They, w- will you both visit me whenever you both have time? Cook, we don't know that either bear. He was now more sad, but he tried to cheer himself. They, let's eat ice cream. Jiggy, show up, bear, come. Twins and they ate ice cream and enjoyed their day, as they used to by walking in park and on go playing in park's playground. In evening, Jiggy, now we have to leave, bear. They became sad as it is last day. They are going to see each other. Gook, don't be sad, bear, or we will be sad as well. They smiled. They, I, I will miss you both a lot. Twins and they tried hard not to cry, but couldn't hold it. They cried and hugged each other. They didn't move from that position for about five minutes. After that, they broke the hug and wiped their tears. They, bye, twins, bye. They turned to their separate ways and didn't look back because they know that if they looked back then they will not be able to leave. Author's point of view I hope you all now understand the situation here. Twins and they were friends when they were young because of their parents as they were business partners and whenever they said be they, he would go to twins who would confront him. They loved each other. It was childhood love, which was really pure. When these parents tried to take over the company by cheating, twins parents tricked them and took the company which actually belonged to them and decided to leave. Twins parents were good people. They loved Tay and Chin a lot, so they let twins meet Tay for the last time before they left. End of point of view. Twins next day left. Tay's life was still the same. His parents used to beat him and Jin used to confront him. Whenever he missed twins, he used to hug their picture and sleep like that. With twins, they used to miss Tay like hell and wished for his well-being. 
end of flashback. Twins and T broke the hug and looked at each other and smiled. Chin, it was destiny. Everyone was looking at Chin. Chin, you guys loved each other when you were young. And look now, three of you are cheating. It was destiny who separated three of you. And it is destiny who brought three of you together. Twins and T smiled more. Their love was destined. Be reunited. But still, there were more problems ahead. JK, we are really happy to know that you are a bear. Gook, yes bear, you don't know how much we missed you and wish that you were happy and safe. They, I missed you both as well. It was really difficult without you both. Gook, do you still have that photo frame? They, yes I do. When we left Digu, I took it with me. Chiki, we also have the photo frame with us. Gook, we felt a connection between us when we first met in school. They, I did too. Chiki, now we know that what connection it was. They chuckled. Gook, now that we know you are a bear, let's forget what happened in the past. All the bad trauma of our lives that you and we have gone through. JK. Yes, and let's start from fresh. They not. Namju, that's really good, but you are still forgetting that one more problem is coming. All of them realized about the situation. Cook, Young, do you really think that the person who is after the is really your so-called father? Jin, yes, I mean, who else it could be? JK, yeah, but why is he after the? What will he get for doing all this? Jin, don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's him. He found us. They, th what will happen now? Cook, don't worry about that bear. We are with you and no one can harm you. Chiki, yes bear, leave it to us. We will protect you no matter what. They, I believe you both and it feels good when you call me bear, just like old times. Twins smiled and packed these lips and stood up. Gook, Young, take Jin Young to your home and they will live here with us until the whole problem is solved. And yes, call Young Young to meet us at the center. Namju nodded. Namju, okay, we will be there at 6. Jin, what center? Twins and Namjoon looked at Jin and gulped a bit because they didn't tell their real work to Jin and they don't know how he will react. Namjoon, baby, sit down. We'll tell you. Jin, is it something big? They nodded and Jin sat beside them. They knew what twins are going to say, but he didn't knew that Namjoon and Yungi were also like twins. Namjoon, so baby, you know that we are business partners, but we are more than that. Jin, what do you mean? Namjoon, me, twins, Yungi and Hubi are a gang and not just a normal gang. We are a part of the biggest mafia gang and twins are the leader of our gang. And not just that, they are also the kings of the mafia world. But we are good ones. We save people from evil mafia gangs. Jin, what? Stood up. Namjoon, baby, don't get angry, please. I know I didn't tell you that and there is a reason for it. Jin, it better be a good reason. Namjoon, I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry whenever I go on a mission. And I wanted you and they to be safe from that side. That's why I didn't tell you. Jin, that means whenever you said that you are going on a business trip, you meant that, oh my god, Jin, Namjoon, yes, Namjoon looked down, Jin, are you kidding me, you used to go on a mission once every month, Namjoon, I'm sorry baby, Jin sighs, it's okay, but what about my bear, you both didn't tell him about it, Jin looked at Tay, who was looking at him with two eyes, Jin, you knew it, you knew it, didn't you? They, young, I got to know about it just before you arrived. Jin, really? They nods. Jin, oh, 
and what about jimin namjoon he knows as well they what since when they were shocked because jimin never hides anything from him jimin after i started dating yuns all of them looked at the main door and saw jimin standing there they ran towards him and hugged him who hugged him back they hey jimin hi are you kitty okay, they yes i'm fine smiles they walked towards other and stood there jin so you knew everything jimin yes yo and if you ask me why didn't i tell you and they my answer is yo i promised you that i won't tell it to you both jin it's okay now i know everything by the way where is yungi jimin oh he must be coming looks back he is here everyone looked at the door and saw a tense yungi coming Yungi directly went towards the engine. Yungi, are you both okay? The Jin, yes. Yungi, Namjoon told me what happened at the house, and we came here immediately. What will you guys do now? Arthur's note. Namjoon called Yungi on the way to his twin's house. Guk, we have decided that Jin Yong will stay with Namjoon Yong, and they will stay with us. Yungi, that's good. And what about the person who did it? Jin, I think it's a so-called father. Yungi, huh? Why would he do it? He will get nothing by doing this. Jk, right. We got to get to the root of it. So let's meet up at the center by six. Yungi and Namjoon nod. Yungi, I'll inform Hoopi. Twins nod in agreement. Jimin, wait. The center is far from this place, and. You guys wouldn't want the to be there at the center, so how about I stay here with him while you guys are not here? Cheeky, yeah, that's a good idea. And the bear, will you stay with Jimin while we are not here? The nods happily as he wants to spend some time with his soulmate. Namsh, okay then, we'll leave. Yungi, yes. Jin hugs the, and then Jimin hugs the. After that, all of them went. Now they cook, cook. Were alone. They turns towards twins. They, will you both protect me? Guk, of course we will bear. Chiki, we will not let anything happen to you, at any cost. So cupcakes, uh, this is the end of this episode. I hope you all liked it and enjoyed it. And see you in next episode. Bye bye.